Hello, hello. What up, RPG Maker fans? Today I am going to demonstrate how to uh, how to use a computer keyboard to type in dialogue for the PlayStation One version of RPG Maker, and it's a simple technique. We will just need two programs. One is an emulator. I, I use EPSXE. And another is a hex editor called HXD. So I put the programs here. Let's get started. Um, let's open up the emulator. File run ISO and load up RPG Maker. Now I assume you already know how to, you know, run emulators and stuff. So this won't be a tutorial on how to. Um, so let's get this started. And this will be a simple hack. It's not too difficult. And later, I I plan on making tutorials on how to uh, insert your own assets from the computer, such as. Um, graphics and sound so let's edit and let me load up my game first and technically you can use your own music it's just the format is in a SEQ format which is essentially a MIDI file so you would need to know how to compose the notes and I'm not musically inclined like that so it's, it's going to be difficult I haven't figured out how to do the music yet, but I'm sure it's possible. I was thinking of uh, replacing it with like Xenogears music. I hope I'm in the right area. So here I got a cloud graphic. So to edit um, the dialogue, just go to a scene that has like dialogue in it. Now, um, the PlayStation, this emulator, it has save states. So you can press escape and see here it says run. You can save a state. So I'm going to save it to slot one. And once you do that, you can load it, escape, run, and load, you know, slot one and it loads again or you can press F1 that's to save and F3 to load it's quick so once we do that let's um, go to the emulator program directory and there's a folder called S states that's save states and here this is slot 1 this is slot 2 yeah, the ordering is a little messed up, but yeah, one, two, three, four, five. The, those are the five slots. So we saved in a slot one, which is the top one right here. So let's make a copy of that. Paste it. See, it has a copy. Now we're going to change the extension to a zip. That way we can extract the archive and it will contain... Um, extract here and it will contain I mean it's it's the safe slot but uncompressed so we can modify it so um, yeah you know what I'm gonna just copy it to uh, this folder right here so here's the safe state with all the data and now we open our hex editor and we just drag that in and now this is the files that are in the um, the VRAM, the PlayStation RAM. It's all in hex, but um, you can search for the dialog. It's in here somewhere. I believe uh, fix color. No wait, color. Just search for the text. See, I got it here. And you know when I in insert my own um, artwork. The palette gets corrupted, so that's why I put that dialogue earlier. 
Now that I fixed it, I can just um, replace it. Oh, but um, the thing with that is it has to be the same um, length. Like you can't delete it like this or it'll mess it up. Actually, I'm not sure. It might still work, but I wouldn't do that. I'll just override it. So I fix the colors. Cool. I'll just do that for, and here it says nice hack. Let me change that to cool hack. And you can edit it in the game later. Oh, I did control S, which is file save. So now once that's done, you take the copy and put it back into the save states folder. But we'll delete um, the first one here. So we're re replacing it. So yeah, so we just, um, we have the same file name, but the extension needs to be 000, zero again. Okay. And now back to our emulator. Let's continue, right? I mean, run and load it. Let's check it out. I fixed the colors, cool cool hack and then you can just edit that or save it whatever it might sound weird but don't worry once you restart it it'll be okay once you save it to the memory card you know actually let me edit it How did I get the dialogue? Oh, I'm still trying to figure out all this. Um, I did a what you call it, the switch thing. Which is confusing. Oh yeah, switch one. Well, you know what I mean. However, your thing is. Was it? Oh, here it is. I'm stupid. <laughs> I'm tripping. And once you edit the dialogue, the text, you can modify it some more. How do we go forward? I'm rather new to this um, to this game, so I'm still experimenting with it. And I thought maybe some would find this hack useful. So backspace, finish. Mm -hmm. Let's save it. Does that go in scenario or system? I think scenario. Just to be safe, I'll just save both. And that's the tutorial. Let me restart it to make sure that glitch sound is gone. So later I plan on doing more tutorials, mainly on how to insert graphics to replace the opening video and music and all that stuff. Am I recording? Oh, cool. And that is how you use a keyboard. You know, because using a controller, the PS1 controller is It'll take forever, so this will cut down a lot of um, the time. Oh, and another thing, um, I would like to show how to uh, insert your own title too. Just 
check it out. I fixed the colors. Cool hat. Yeah, I plan on doing this too. So, um. Oh, I forgot I changed it. Never mind. <laughs> so, thanks for watching. But you know what? Maybe I'll show you what I mean with the, um, the title. Basically, the idea is to replace one of the CD title images with, with a custom image. And then once you do that, um, you just need to fix the color palette. But you could do that. Um, hold on, let me see. Is it demo? That was background. I'm not sure, but I think I removed it already. Oh, I did. I removed it. But yeah, the colors get all messed up and I gotta fix it. Um, let me see if it's in here. So thanks for watching. This is like... Um, this is just extra stuff. I mean, I saved the image to a memory card, but later I plan on using the... Ah, oh, it's not in here either. I got the memory cards backed up. I know I saved it somewhere. Oh, no, wrong one. That's the XXX image. Okay, thanks for watching.